Hello everyone, this is Vipin. In today's session, I will walk you through the AEM technology stack. What are the major building blocks in AEM to develop in any application? So these are three uh, major building blocks in AEM. The first one is OSGI that is Open Service Gateway Initiative and second one is GCR that is Java Content Repository. And the third one is Apache Sling that is REST based uh, web framework. So let's start with uh, OSGI. So OSGI is an uh, Java framework which is used to develop the modular applications. Okay, it breaks uh, application into uh, individual modules and uh, those modules you can uh, term as bundles. Okay, so I will tell uh, the difference between bundles and uh, normal jar files. But uh, for uh, uh, this is a framework. Uh, which we normally use uh, when our code is segregated and uh, we want uh, some independent modules in our application so that uh, in future or in application deployment if I want to restart only a single uh, piece of code or single piece of services then I don't need to run uh, I don't need to build my whole code again and again I can go through to the bundles and can restart or reinstall it so this kind of um, modular framework uh, is provided by OSGI and uh, AM is come AM comes with uh, inbuilt OSGI containers so we will walk you through about these containers later on so as you can see OSGI bundles can contain compiled Java code scripts content that is to be loaded in the repository okay and in simple terms bundle is nothing but uh, as I said it's a combination of jar and uh, uh, a manifest file so manifest file contains uh, the information about the bundle visibility that if there are uh, more than one or two, more than five bundles in your application then uh, which bundle code would be visible to other bundles okay so it's kind of uh, visibility to other bundles that you can control using manifest file and uh, that's a bundle uh, which we use in OSGI concepts and uh, it allows the bundles to load it install during normal operations in case of uh, AM uh, there is a console for uh, to handle the OSGI framework that is sling management console and uh, to implement this framework uh, this OSGI there is an Apache Felix the term that we use in AM the framework that we use in AM is Apache Felix so Apache Felix is an open source project to implement the OSGI platform okay so which includes OSGI framework and uh, all its related services so OSGI uh, you can uh, access Apache Felix from uh, your author or your publish instance using system console command so this uh, would be your web console Apache Felix console where you can see all the bundles and you will be having feasibility to uh, restart the bundle stop the bundle or whatever you want to do the configuration of a specific bundles so AM uh, there is no need to install this OSGI container in AM it comes by default into the AM application so once you install AM jar it comes uh, by default so let's move to the next uh, major building blocks in uh, AM application that is uh, JCR Java Content Repository so as we are aware that everything is uh, a content everything is a resource in terms of CQ okay and uh, you know that uh, uh, for uh, saving any any text any images uh, there is a repository which is used to save all of your data okay so CQ5 is uh, content based framework and uh, JCR API defines an abstract model and a Java API for data storage and related services commonly used by content oriented applications. So it means that um, in uh, CQ5 there is an API that is JCR Java Content Repository uh, which provides some abstract model and one Java API to extract the information from content repository. Okay, so there are uh, several implementation of JCR API is available. Uh, in CQ5, there is uh, one implementation is uh, Apache. Uh, you can see uh, 
CRX is one of the implementation of uh, Java Content Repository and other uh, alternatives of implementation framework are, are like uh, Jackrabbit but CQ5 is comes with uh, default CRX so that's uh, implementation of uh, JCR okay so what uh, JCR provides functionality like uh, uh, in normal uh, uh, file uh, normal databases we are having the structured data and in file system you can keep uh, unstructured content okay but uh, uh, in AEM uh, this JCR provides a functionality to keep the both structured and unstructured data you can keep uh, your data in form of uh, some node structure like you will be saving your data in uh, in form of properties in form of nodes in the content repository okay as uh, it has been written here GCR provides the best of both data storage architectures plus observation versioning and full text search and as I said that apart from uh, structure and structured data content it provides you the functionality of versioning and uh, the full text search you can um, search anything in your uh, content content repository okay so as I said uh, JCR is an uh, Java API within EM to access the content it made of node and properties and stores everything such as assets text in JCR structure and uh, the next one uh, is uh, the implementation of as I told that in uh, EM has default implementation of JCR that is CRX and other alternatives are uh, like Jackrabbit but in AM uh, it comes with uh, the CRX and you can access is it with the uh, localhost 4502 slash CRX slash DE so you can see that uh, how your content is getting saved in which uh, properties how it is taking JCR data and um, all other stuffs you can check there in CRX D and uh, these are uh, Apache Jackrabbit and other uh, JCR stories are also available that you can uh, connect uh, to through AEM so there is a possibility that if you don't want to use if you want to uh, store your content in uh, some different uh, like different data stores you can use that like Apache Jackrabbit you can make a connection to Apache Jackrabbit from your uh, uh, CRX and uh, then uh, you can uh, select those stories as well but it is recommended to uh, use JCR repository and uh, CRX implementation of JCR uh, within AEM that comes by default once you install the AEM so the next uh, building block of AEM is Apache Sling so as I said Apache Sling is a rest based uh, web framework uh, which is content centric and um, it make use of JCR like uh, if you are accessing any page then uh, it is the responsibility of Apache Sling framework to map the resources for that page so Apache Sling work uh, with JCR closely that it maps your incoming request to appropriate resources and then appropriate scripts okay so it is also embedded within CQ5 and uh, everything is resource in Sling framework Okay, so as I told that uh, it is uh, a resource based framework it uh, uh, once you access any page it uh, binds your uh, request to appropriate resources and uh, then uh, to uh, the uh, means once it find the appropriate resource it uh, uh, search for script and servlet from the path given in that resource for resource type and uh, it comes with both server side and ajax scripting support apache sling framework is having this feasibility and um, as i also mentioned above it is resource oriented and exposes jcr to web it closely work with jcr so these were the and uh, this is uh, how we can map our uh, any request to a particular uh, script or servlets so I will walk you through uh, once uh, we develop any component then uh, it will be better to understand this uh, script resolution that how Apache Sling works and how it resolves the resources actually once uh, when we will be developing a component then it would be I will be covering this part 
okay so those were three major building uh, blocks of any 